Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today I want to talk about why leadership is important. Why do you need to step up? Well, if you don't step up, you might get stepped on. Please like, subscribe, share this amongst your teams. You might be wondering to yourself, what makes me a leader? Who am I to step up? Well, I will say in this complex world, there's not a lot of things you can take with you. Computer codes, probably going away. The job lifting things, more than likely is going away. Art, music, there's chances that all these go away. One thing they can't take away, and one thing robots can't do or a machine can't do, is lead. There's not gonna be any leadership program because leadership is contextual. And that's the only thing that you can take with you. How do you define leadership? Well, to me, there are three tenets of leadership. Self-awareness. How aware are you of yourself? And how are you aware of the mental models and ideas that you hold in your head, your biases, that may affect your decisions? The more aware you are of that, the better off you'll be. Two, execution. You have to make things happen. You have to get out here and get things done. Three, direction. How clear can you see towards the future? And how can you communicate those ideas that you're aware about and that you execute on so that other people can understand and follow them? So it's self-awareness, execution, and direction. Those are the three tenets of leadership. Are you born with it or is it a skill? There are some components of leadership I'm sure that people are born with. Some people have louder or deeper voices. Some people are born taller, which has been shown to make people feel like you have more leadership ability. But those things fall away rather quickly. Leadership is a skill, and it's something that you have to work on on a daily basis. You have to work on being vulnerable. You have to work on stepping up. You have to work on being heard. You have to work on being clear. These are all things you have to work on. Being aware, executing, and directing yourself and your team. These are skills you need to work on. So no, you may be born with some things, but it's a skill that needs to be leveled up and worked on. What can you do to improve your skill and how do you know it's getting better? Well, one thing you can do to improve your skill is do something. So whenever I talk to people about leadership and people come up to me and ask a question of how can they improve their leadership? One of the biggest questions I ask them is, what's the last project they got off the ground? You can only build your leadership by leading and you can lead by creating. So how do you improve that skill? Go create, go start a project, start a blog, go work for a nonprofit, go do something where you can pick up and lead people. You'll be able to apply some of the things I'm telling you and get better. How do you know you're getting better? As you get more self-aware, you start asking yourself more questions. As you execute more, you start coming up with more ideas. And as you set direction, you'll see that the vision is becoming clearer to other people. You'll be able to talk in stories more and people will understand where you're coming from. If you notice those three things picking up, those three tenets of leadership, then you see yourself improving. So how can you apply this to your life? How can you apply these three tenets of leadership? Well, self-awareness is being aware that you have to be self-aware. That looks like understanding your cognitive biases. That looks like understanding uh, how you feel in the moment. That means understanding some of your mental hangups. As you begin to understand more and more about yourself, you'll be able to execute and set direction better knowing how you feel. Execute. You have to go make things. Go start projects. Go do things. Go help people. Go help teams. Go intern for somebody. Go do stuff because the more experiences you have, the more ideas you'll be able to bring to bear on the projects and goals that you want to accomplish. Direction. Talk about your story. I encourage everyone to start a blog or a YouTube channel or a podcast to talk about what they're going through right now, what thoughts they have on their mind. Being able to communicate what's happening in your life will help you tell that story to other people. And you'll be more clear about how you think of things so that when it comes to it, you're able to knock it out the park. It's important to make note that all three of these things are practice. Becoming more self-aware by understanding yourself and seeing your biases, 
executing on projects so that you learn how to get things done and ship, and setting direction as a person that's able to tell a story and get people on board are all things that we can continually improve upon to become a better leader. If you found this topic of leadership interesting, take a look in the description box and you'll find a couple of books that have helped my understanding of how to become a better leader and some of the pitfalls that I've found across the way. Especially when it comes to leadership, this is not a one-way conversation. I'm not just talking to you. And this isn't just a two-way conversation. You're not just talking to me and I'm talking to you. This is actually a conversation amongst the tribe of leaders. That can't start without you injecting some opinion or idea in the comment box below. Talk about some of your own personal stories and help engage all of us into learning how to be a better leader from you. I'm not the only teacher, I'm also a student.